today, we are going to be making lamb meatballs with roasted pepper, fennel, and tomato sauce. And then the whole shoot and match is going to be topped with a little goat cheese. Well, hello. Are you guys feeling good? Yes. Are you ready to be meatballers? Yes. All right, we are going to be using a spice called cumin. It's sort of like a, a very arid smell. It's almost like B.O., but B.O. of someone that you like. <laughs> oh, okay. I love cumin. It's one of my favorite spices. And we're gonna take a tablespoon of cumin seeds right into a dry saute pan, and we are going to toast them. Cumin and lamb go together really nicely. And it's just, I start to see my seeds turn a little bit darker of a color. I can really smell them a lot now, right? So I'm gonna turn this off. Just put all these right into your spice grinder. Woo! So we have one whole onion. We are going to dice it half for our meatballs and half for our sauce. What do you think we're gonna do with these onions? Sweat them, sauce. Sweat them, right? I am always a fan for meatballs of cooking my onions first. All right, salt in both. And I'm gonna give them both a little pinch of crushed red pepper. So remember what this is, you guys? Yep, fennel. fennel. What does it taste like? Black licorice. Black licorice. Are we gonna save these? Yeah. Yes, yep. we are. This guy, we cut it in quarters, cut the stalk out. I'm gonna put them right in with my onions right away. The next thing that's gonna go in there is red peppers. Cut that guy in half right through the middle. Pull out the stem and the seeds. Cut this guy in quarters. We see in here this white stuff. It's called the pith. We take it out. We're gonna work from one side of the board to the other. Slices, sticks, dices. Slices, sticks, dices, right? Okay, now your red pepper goes right in with your onions and fennel. The next thing, some garlic. All right, now give it a little coarse chop. And then we're gonna go halvesies. Smells good, doesn't it? Now, my onions and garlic for my meatballs. I get them to where I want them to be, and I'm gonna turn off the heat. Because if I add really hot onions and garlic to my lamb, what could happen? it would cook, right? And then once the protein cooks, it's not gonna stick together. All right, my tomatoes for my sauce. One cup of water. Check this out, my sauce is working. My onions and garlic are sauteed, ready to go in my meatball mix. So my ground lamb, my cumin. This guy again, fennel pollen, one egg, red crumbs. Remember these guys? Yep. It brings a nice amount of freshness. Chop them up, feeny, feeny, feeny. We're gonna go right in there. Now we have this guy, our sauteed onions and garlic. We have Parmesan cheese. Just scoop and sweep like this, right in there. We've all probably had the experience of having a really tight, dry, like rock hard meatball. That's not delicious. Meatballs should be moist and succulent and tender. So water helps that happen. It adds some moisture in, but then when it cooks out, all the flavors are still in there. Got it. <laughs> now we wanna mix this up really nicey nicey. All right, and this is fun. Get your hands in there and really squish around. All right, to make sure everything is really nicely combined. Great. Now time for a big fat hand wash. I've got lamb hands, lamb hands. The last thing though that I'm going to put in my sauce is a little bit of lemon to just really brighten up the whole flavor of what's happening here. And so every single time after I finish one bite, I'm gonna be super excited to take another one. I am using what's called lemon zest. It's just the colored part of the lemon. I'm gonna go old school here and I'm just kind of breaking the cells that are in that lemon. I'm squeezing into a measuring cup so I can strain out the seeds. All right, and lemon juice, no seeds, right in there. I'm just gonna give it a stir around. 
All right, I'm gonna brown my meatballs. I'm just gonna be scooping out my meatballs. I want them all the same size. And now, okay, I'm gonna brown them on all the sides. We're gonna make sure we don't crowd them so they have room to brown. All right, I'm gonna go do a hand wash again. All right, so, oh, nice and brown on all the sides we wanna do. Okay, so while my meatballs are browning, bouncing back over to sauce for a second. Now, look, it looks really nice and chunky and all that, doesn't it? But now, okay. I'm gonna blow out the big machinery. This is okay. This is what's called an immersion blender. You stick it into whatever you wanna blend right in your pan. There we go. Well, we're all gonna be wearing these right on. So as our meatballs are brown on all the sides, we're gonna transfer them into the sauce. If I just took raw meatballs and put them in my sauce, I would most likely wind up with like a meat sauce. They would break all apart. So we are making sure that our meatballs hold their shape while they cook in our sauce. All right, so just while these guys are simmering, I want to garnish, right? Because we like to see a nice little green on the top of there. So now, look at this. I've stewed my meatballs around in the sauce. Now all these flavors really marry together. All right, so we're gonna plate these. I want some sauce in there. Then I'm going to top this with some goat cheese. Oh, look at it, it's gonna start to get melty and get really creamy. It's really, really yummy. We're gonna top with some fennel fronds. All right, there we go. What do you guys think? You ready to try? Yes, yes ma'am.